Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video, I'm going to be installing an aluminum exhaust pipe on my RC car. Now the stock exhaust is actually this black piece of plastic and it just drags the look of the car down. It does not look particularly good. Now my engine still hasn't been mounted to my car. I'm actually going to make a video on that. I'm still waiting on the motor mounts. So I decided for the time being, this might be the perfect modification to do. In order to do this project, I'm gonna use my cutters, my Allen wrench, and two new zip ties. I'm going to use my Allen wrench to loosen the set screw and the whole exhaust assembly should come off. So I just need to turn the set screw and this will loosen the exhaust and it should come out just like this. In order to put on my new exhaust, I need to cut these two zip ties using my cutters. I need to be very careful to not damage this rubber. So I should cut it from the neck and it should come off just like so. Just like this. And this should come out like that and this will also come off. This little set screw that I just loosened in order to remove this exhaust, I have to reuse that set screw on my new stainless exhaust. So I'm gonna use my Allen wrench tool to remove it. By turning it, the set screw will come out. Now I'm going to take my new exhaust and install the set screw on this new one. So all I have to do is tighten it enough so it's held in place, but not too much, so I could still slide it through its pin. This much is enough. Next, I'm gonna use my rubber connector to connect the exhaust system like this. All I have to do is just to slide it on. You do need to twist it so it can lock into place. And once you've done that, I'm gonna take my exhaust manifold and slide that on this rubber piece as well so that now both pieces are connected. Now I'm going to take my two zip ties and put it on this rubber connector. So I'm gonna put it facing up and then pull this bit through just like this. Now it's important to note that I'm not gonna tighten this all the way because I do wanna put it on my car and kinda of adjust the angle in which I want the exhaust tip facing and then I will fully tighten it once I have the exhaust positioned to my desire. So we'll tighten it about this much so I could still adjust the tip. Now due to the fact that the set screw is on the top of the exhaust and not on the side like my old plastic one, I unfortunately need to remove this front wheel in order to screw this set screw in place. Now I'm going to take my new exhaust, I'm going to put it into this holder, and now that the wheel is removed, I can screw the set screw in place. And I want my exhaust to kind of sit up high. So I'll set it right about here. I wanna make sure not to over tighten, but tighten it enough so at least it doesn't move about when it's going at high speeds. I think one more quarter of a turn will do. Like this. <laughs> now that everything is in my desired place, I can go ahead and tighten these zip ties as much as I can. And now I can use my cutters to cut off any excess. This is an extremely small finishing touch, but also for safety's sake, in order for me not to cut my hands on these sharp cuts, I'm going to use my metal filer and I'm going to file down these sharp edges off these zip tie ends. So this way when I go to work on the car, I won't cut my finger. I don't need to do so much where I end up actually damaging the zip tie, but just enough to at least get the sharp edges 
shaved off. And about this much is okay. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. The exhaust looks brilliant. And I have to admit, it actually suits the car much better. More awesome videos in regards to this build are coming. So stay in tuned. I will see you guys in the next one.